Okay, we're looking at mixed exercise seven from the first year core textbook. And we are on question 12, which is an exam question. Okay, and um, I'm given a cubic. I'm told that x minus one is, sorry, yeah, that x equals minus one is a root. Um, and it doesn't say I have to show that it is. So I, I can just assume that that works. I don't need to use factor theorem and check it. Um, and then I'm asked to find the other two positive roots. So I could, I could use factor theorem to try and find the others, but I, I, the fact they don't mention that and they tell me that x equals minus one is a root makes me think I'm, I'm not gonna go down that, that route. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, the root they've given me. So I've said root quite a few times there, right. Okay, so if x equals minus one is a root or a solution, that means x plus one is a factor. So I'm going to factorize that to x plus one and then a quadratic, and then I'm going to find the, the roots of, of the quadratic because it is telling me there is, there is three roots to this cubic. There's minus one and then there's the two that we need to find. Um, okay, so the four cubic is 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 3. I know that x plus one is a factor, so I'm going to factorize it using inspection. So I know that the cubed term is 2x squared, and that's going to come from x times, sorry, 2, 2x cubed. So that's going to come from x times the x squared term. So that must be 2x squared, because that will give me 2x cubed. Okay, um, I can use the same logic for the constant. So the constant is plus three, so that's going to come from one times the constant in the um, quadratic. So that's going to come from one times three. So that would give me plus three, which is what I want. So they're the easier ones. Then I need to find that missing middle term, the x term from the quadratic. So to do that, I am going to use the minus five x squared. And then I'm going to use the minus four x to just check my answer at the end. So if I were expanding these brackets out, where would the x squared term come from? Well, it would come from one times two x squared and then from x times this missing term here. So if I need that to equal minus five x squared altogether, I need a minus seven x squared so that together they equal minus five x squared. So that means this missing term, so I want, set, I want x, times minus seven x. Yeah, so that would give me minus seven x squared there. Okay, then we can check that that works by looking at the minus four x. So if I were to expand the right hand side out, I'm gonna have x times three for three x and one times minus seven, minus seven x and together they would give me the minus four x, so that's just a check. Okay, so that's doing it by inspection. If you weren't too happy with that, then your alternative is to do the division. So you can either do the long division or you can, I think reverse grid method is probably more common. So I'm dividing by x plus one, and that box is gonna give me my cubed term. Those two will both be x squared. They will both be x and that will be my constant. So my x cubed term is supposed to be two x cubed. So that must be two x squared. Two x squared times one would give me two x squared there. I need minus five x squared. So I need minus seven x squared. So they add up to minus five x squared. So that would need to be minus seven x. So that that times that does give me the minus seven x squared. Um, if that's minus 7x, minus 7x times 1 is going to give me minus 7x. Um, my x term is supposed to be minus 4x, so I'll need a 3x there. So that would need to be, not 3x, that would need to be 3. So that 3 times x gives me the 3x. And then if that's 3, that would be 3. And that last bit is really just to check because that. And that should equal the same thing because x plus one was a factor. Okay, so whichever way you do it, you end up with x plus one times two x squared minus seven x plus three. 
and it didn't necessarily mention um, exact answers. So I think it's worth checking um, whether that quadratic factorizes. So two is a prime, so it's gonna to have to be two X and X. Three is a prime, yeah, I think we can get there. So we can do minus three times two X to get minus six X and minus one times X to get minus X, okay? So my three roots are X equals minus one, which we had, X equals a half and X equals three. And they said that the other two roots were positive. So as far as we can judge, that seems pretty good. I mean, of course you could put that straight into your calculator and check that wouldn't get you the full four marks you need to show your, your working. So a half and three, lovely. 